Welcome to a video on how to get good at the Twilight Chomper, perhaps the most mobile and jump scare worthy character in the game. Players who are able to master this assassin like specialist will be able to get away with more bullshit than the number of upgrades that completely break a character in BFN. Let's get started. The Twilight Chomper is a variant of the Chomper class and was the last ever character added to the game. Despite being merely a color palette swap of the Unicorn Chomper, this variant actually has some cracked as fuck mechanics up its sleeve. They have 150 health, slightly less than the stock's 175, but they make up for this by having just as much movement as the Hot Rod Chomper, allowing him to cover more ground quickly. His primary weapon, as it with every biting base Chomper, involves him using his mouth to chow down on enemies. The weapon fires at 96.5 rounds per minute and has unlimited usage. Each chomp fired can deal 35 damage and has a 4.5 meter range limit. This makes Twilight Chomper's primary attack fall in between the stock variant and armor chomper in having a little bit of both. This does also mean that certain health pools can be killed either faster or slower due to this change in damage output. But since you do move much faster, you'll be able to reach your enemies fairly quickly. Because he is the offspring of the Unicorn Chomper, he also gets an ability that is exclusive to him, known as the Twilight Wall. This warp is similar to the rainbow warp that the unicorn chomper has in teleporting him forward. However, this warp only has a single charge with a 25 second cooldown, though this is for one main reason. Since this warp goes exactly twice as far as the rainbow warp in a single use, at a massive 36 entire fucking meters, this shit allows the twilight chomper to do literal cross map travel in the blink of a fucking eye and grants him access to certain flank routes that literally no other character in the game can access at all. This warp is the literal definition of a tamer head out, since you could literally do the world's biggest fuck up and this shit can just bail you out of that scenario faster than Elon Husk making everything on Twitter behind a paywall. Alternatively, this telepathic heap of shit can be used to surprise your enemies and maybe even scare the shit out of them due to the warp's long distance nature. The optimum upgrade setup for the Twilight Chomper would be the two damage upgrades and the digestion upgrade. The damage upgrades are especially important since they significantly increase Twilight Chomper's damage per bite from 35 to 43.9 allowing him to comfortably 3-shot classes like soldiers and pirates, and the digestion upgrade purely for the occasions where the game decides to shaft you and make you swallow someone. In terms of strengths, the Twilight Chomper's extremely high mobility, not only thanks to his enhanced movement speed but his batshit crazy warp, allow him to reach his destination of desire quickly as well as instantly engage or disengage in fights and take enemies by complete surprise. His high damage per chomp also makes him great at ambushing enemies with a huge burst of damage. However, Twilight Chomper does sacrifice 25 health for the insane mobility, whilst not much does put him under the kill threshold of certain abilities and does make him slightly more vulnerable. Additionally, with him having a fairly slow attack interval does mean that missing bites could potentially backfire against you and open up a window of opportunity for enemies to kill you. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of jump scaring people and listen to their screams of rage as you perform absolutely bullshit ways to kill them unfairly. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.